Hi, my name is Tristy, and in this video, we'll set up a couple of new controller files using the Yeoman generator. So I've got a controller here. It's sitting in my app, down in public, modules, customers. Um, and this is the module in the controllers folder. I've got this controller. Um, and actually, there's, um, there's three different controllers sitting in this file plus a directive. So time to split this out. Um, now, to use the Yeoman generator to set up our controller, we just jump across to um, our command line. I've got PowerShell here. So just change directories into the folder where our app is sitting. So jump over there. And we just need to um, call Yo. So we'll go Yo, mean.js, um, colon, angular controller and we just need to give it a name for our controller so i just jump down for one of the controllers i want to create which is this one here um, and what you want to do is just um, just use the first part of the name so you don't actually have to put controller in the name um, when, when you uh, when you create it so you just have to say customers create for example to um, to create a controller with um, with that kind of name, so just hit enter. Okay, so now Yeoman's come back and um, given us an option um, to choose uh, one of the modules that we want to use to um, to actually hold um, this controller. So we'll just select customers by using the arrow key, um, and there you go. All it, all it had to do was just identify the module, which is customers, and then it's gone ahead and created. A new controller and a new uh, test file for that particular controller. Now I want to create one more because I've got another controller sitting um, sitting over here as well. So I'm just going to scroll down and find this one. So this is the customers update controller. So this time instead of customers create, I'll just call it update, just like that, and um, hit enter. So again, just um, select the module that I want to use and hit enter and um, and Yo will create um, both the controller and the test file for me. So we can go and have a quick look at that. Um, go over to controllers, just let that refresh. Um, and if you open up the files, uh, we've now got um, a controller sitting here for us. So for example, the next step that I would do um, is jump over here, find the controller that I want to move, um, copy that and um, just paste that in over here and um, just uh, just retrofit the data back. So for example, just copy that there, paste that over the top of that bit there, um, and then just copy that there and just paste that in there. So that is it and I can get rid of this bit. Um, so that's now got its, um, got its nice little file to sit in. Um, and do the same for this controller over here. So grab that, jump over to update. So same deal. So you can see the customer's update control. So the names are all the same. So I just want to copy that bit. So just to make sure they've got the right dependencies being pushed through. Um, and then we'll just copy um, the code. So we've got the function, that's all good. And we'll plug that in. Um, like so. All right, cool. So I can get rid of that. So now I've got um, that one file where we had three controllers, split that down into one single controller. It's nice and clean now. Um, next thing I have to do is pull out this directive and I'll do that in a separate video. Um, I hope that helped. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out bossable.com for more details and I'll see you again soon.